So I'm making a uh, rock crusher for my gold ore. And what I got is six inch. This isn't really girder. I don't know the technical name of it, but it's six inch. Looks like uh, eighth inch, maybe three sixteenths. I need to weld that up and then cut the back pieces, the middle piece and the one on the end. That's what's going on. I gotta weld everything together. It gives me an eighth inch gap on each side for the jaw to move and articulate. So it shouldn't get clogged up and lock up. Kind of like spot welds all over it so it doesn't warp. I gotta keep it certain. Certainly have an eighth inch of play just so I don't have to deal with shit hanging up in the future and then the dust can fall down through it. The machine will work out all the a lot of guys build these real tight, and I don't think that's the proper way to do it because what'll happen is dust will sit in the crack and then work and work and work and just work against you. Whereas if you have a big enough crack, like an eighth inch, it will break apart from the natural um, energy of the machine. So I'm spot welding it. And getting it all spotted together. I think you can at, it overheated. I have it set at 180, 180 amps to really burn in. Once I um, get it all welded up, I'm just running it down here without any rod. And then I'm going to lay rod in it, make it flush. So it'll be really, really thick. Um, I'm having my buddy who owns a machine shop make my cam for me. It's looking pretty good, though. I'm not going to put any skid plates on the sides. I'm only going to put it on the the surface side of the grinding plate and on the back side. I'm going to put an extra plate and then probably an extra plate and then weld rebar down it that I can knock off and replace later. But I mean, you don't have to go overboard. If you get to the point where you're wearing this machine out built just like this without any reinforcement skid plates, if you're, if you're to the point where you're going through that much ore, you're going to be making enough money to where you can build a much bigger one uh it's a lot bigger so um you can do it then i don't think you this i don't think it's necessary to put skid plates on this and over go overboard like i said once you're wearing this out you're going to either be on something to where you're making a ton of money and you're going to have a much larger machine you're going to be going through a couple yards of dirt a day whatever a rock i mean So this is the grinder plate or jaw or whatever you want to call it. I'm welding uh, angle iron, or not angle iron, I'm welding rebar on it as teeth. Put in a nice weld on each side all the way across. I probably don't have to weld it so much, but I want to make sure it's stationary, it doesn't move. It's uh, six inches longer than the length of the box. It's going to lean back at an angle like this and stick out and then my bearings will be mounted to it, my uh, pillow bearings. So now I'm welding up the inside. I'm gonna put another pass on these seams on the inside with um, probably 1 16th rod just to fill it in, make it a little stronger. It's welded really well on the outside but I wanna hit it on both sides. I still need to do this, obviously. This poor welder, the duty cycle isn't long enough. So I get about 20 inches, then I gotta wait. So now I'm welding this uh, 
little kicker plate, it's adjustment plate for the back side of the crusher plate. I'm gonna weld it here in the middle. Now when I weld it, it'll stick really well. So I have my bearings temporarily. Well, they're, they're set, but they're not super tight. And now what I'm doing, as you can see, I put that plate on the bottom. And what I'm going to do is put this right here. And then you'll be able to screw this in and out to make your rock smaller or bigger. I'm going to weld a bracket here thread it and then this will go through it and push against that. Hopefully one of these is enough. I think it is. Bam. Look at that. Just what I wanted. Just what I wanted. So that worked out really well. I'll put a set nut on it and uh, we're golden. So I'm just starting to get it tacked up. I got my, uh, my toggle in here now, as you can see. The toggle sits on a plate so I can go forward and back without falling down. I will hook springs on from here up to the, the teeth, the, the grinder plate, and the springs will hold it back so the toggle doesn't fall through and it keeps tension on it. Um, this is my plate that I tighten my set bolt against. Hopefully one is just enough, but it's, it's turning out pretty good. I gotta take the the grinder plate back off and um, get a weld on this side and on this side, on the opposite side and around the bottom. Things get really heavy. So I got my spring in, I got my set in, got my block in that can toggle, go up and down. It looks like it has enough tension on it to hold the plate back. Um, I need to get my cam made uh, this week and then build the hopper and put the motor on, the engine on, excuse me, the pulley system and uh, build a, a stand for it. But uh, it's coming along pretty good, pretty quick. So this had a shoulder on it I just brought down with the lathe. I'm gonna put some threads on it. I was gonna leave the shoulder, then countersink the shoulder into the shaft for the, um, the shaft pulley, the cam. But I went ahead and took it down all the way. That way I can have more thread in the shaft. And I'll show you what I'm doing. So that's gonna go in here. And the pulley's somewhere, but I got an engine for it. And the cam works really well. I had a buddy turn down the cam for me. If anybody needs a cam and they want to make these, hit me up. Hit me on hit me up on Instagram. It's uh, Ruggis Cycle. Just DM me, and I will uh, get you a cam. So that's a half inch thirteen thread. Yeah, see, I was worried because there was a gap there, but it picked up the thread, so we're good. Um, you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm drilling little holes, and then I'll drill bigger holes, and that'll fall out, and then I'll have a little slider adjustment. 